It has officially been three years of using the Hada Labo Brightening Milk. By the name, you're probably wondering if brightening means bleaching. I mean, that's the first thing I thought when I heard about the brand for the first time. Hi, I'm Stacey Kinyunjui and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about the Hada Labo Brightening Milk. But before we get into that specific product, Let's have a general look at the brand itself. Adelabo is a skincare brand whose philosophy is simple by perfect and nothing less and nothing more. According to the brand, they aim to use pure yet effective products that are backed by science. The brand believes that a longer ingredient list doesn't necessarily mean more benefits for your skin. So they aim to use only what's necessary to create an effective product. That means their products don't have any fragrances, they don't have any colorants, they don't have any mineral oils or any additives that can be unnecessary in a product. Adelabo is a Japanese skincare brand that has managed to attain global popularity so their products can be found globally. On to the product of the day which is the Adelabo Brightening Milk. By the name, you're probably wondering if brightening means bleaching. I mean, that's the first thing I thought when I heard about the brand for the first time. But rest assured, in this case, this product does not contain any bleaching agents. Brightening here means it's a product that helps to reduce hyperpigmentation on the skin. Hyperpigmentation is often caused by the sun, especially if you excessively expose your skin to the sun without proper protection such as sunscreen and it can also be caused by skin inflammation which is usually a result of things like acne or hormonal issues. So over time, what this product is meant to do is it's meant to promote an even and radiant skin tone. Just to have a clear difference, I looked up the difference between skin brightening products and skin bleaching products. Skin lightening products or skin whitening products or skin bleaching products as they are often called refer to the use of chemical substances in an attempt to lighten the skin by reducing the melanin concentration on the skin. But on the other hand, skin brightening products, such as the Hada Labo Brightening Milk that we're talking about in this video, help your skin to heal from all things that can cause your skin to be uneven, like dark spots from acne or acne scars, hyperpigmentation from the sun, etc. On to the next thing which is, does this product contain milk since it is called the Hada Labo Brightening Milk? The answer is no. The word milk in this product is used to refer to the consistency of the product which is milky or milky-like. When you're applying this, it's very easy to use a lot of it, but honestly, a little goes a long way. You only need a pea size amount. Anything more than that and you may be doing too much. It's also important to remember that the skin will absorb only what it needs. So if you put too much, the rest of it is just gonna sit on top of your skin. Because of its milky consistency, it really glides smoothly onto the skin. And after a while, it absorbs really well and leaves your skin with a slight glow. The ingredients in this product and what it helps with makes it suitable for all skin types. If you have oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, sensitive skin, skin, acne prone skin or mature skin, you can definitely use this for the benefits it has such as treating hyperpigmentation and moisturizing the skin. I have used this for the past three years as my nighttime moisturizer. Personally, I have oily skin so that glowy look that it leaves is not something I prefer to have during the day because as the day goes by my skin gets oilier and oilier or more shiny. But as a nighttime moisturizer, I don't mind the glow and I love how the product feels. I started using this around the time I was dealing with acne breakouts and as I'm doing this review, I was trying to think whether this product has made a big difference. But after looking at my skin when I had acne versus now, I think it has really helped to improve my hyperpigmentation and my dark spots. I can't solely attribute that change to this product alone. I think my entire skincare routine consists of products that have helped my skin to slowly become better and healthier. And because this is one of the products that has constantly been part of my skincare routine, I do think it has significantly helped to clear out my hyperpigmentation. 
So what are some of the ingredients that this product has and what do they do for your skin? The first ingredient that I do want to mention that is in this product is Arbutin. This ingredient helps with lightening dark spots, improving the appearance of acne scars, and it also helps to even out your skin tone. Another ingredient in this product is magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which is a form of vitamin C. Vitamin C is known to have skin benefits such as helping with an uneven skin tone, helping with acne scars and general dullness. And the last ingredient I'm gonna mention is sodium hyaluronate, which is basically hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is naturally found in our skin, but as we age, it decreases. In skincare products, it can act as a great humectant because it's able to hold 1,000 times its weight in water. So typically, it's more beneficial to use products with hyaluronic acid on damp skin as opposed to dry skin so that you can maximize on the moisturizing and hydrating benefits. This product comes in a 140 ml bottle and this takes me about six months or more than six months to finish and I have to say that's great value for money. The last thing that I do like about the Hada Labo brand is I love that they make their formulations based off of science backed data. And that marks the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe.